Hey YouTubers, so we're going to be checking the old and the new heater out of my ML350 and we're just going to check uh, both the temperature sensor, the level sensors and the heater values and see what we get on the readouts. So bear with me because it's a bit hard, hard to hold this and take the readings at the same time. Okay, so first up, this is from the grey wire to the blue yellow and red wires, which are the three sensor level senders. So that's these three, so the greys are common, and these are the three individual wires. And according to one of my YouTube comments, these should be measuring 4.2 ohms for each of the values. So first one to the red wire. Try and get that on. Sorry, it's just for one out. That again. There you go, 4.21, pretty close to 4.2. To the blue wire, 4.2 the same, and to the yellow wire, 4.19, 4.2. So they all seem pretty good. Now from that same grey wire to the small white wire, on this is the temperature sensor. So this is for measuring the temperature of the DEF in the tank. And if I put the sensor on there, so I have a multimeter on there, we get 13.6. Just bear with it again. There, 13.6 kilo ohms. Okay, and finally, if we measure to the heater itself, and this is between the red wire and the white wire. So you just get my common on there. Get my probe on that reading. And you can see it slowly rises. 2.7, 2.6, 2.7. Yeah, so that's sitting around 2.7. Now, according to the book, that should be between 2 and 4.5 ohms. So that seems pretty on the mark. So I would say there's nothing wrong with my heater, which leads to the question, why did I get told to change it? So let's go and have a measurement on the car and see what the car says. Okay, so actually I won't be able to measure those values. And it's not because I can't get to the connectors. It's because I don't know the pinouts. So there we've got the pump wires, we've got the sensor wires, the heater wires, uh, the level sender wires, and you can just see the wires going into another connector at the back there. So I'm not going to pull, being as my car's working fine now, I'm not going to pull those connectors and try and take those readings. We'll just have to leave it for another day if ever we get the DEF tank down. Okay, thanks for watching, but at least we know that the values in the comments in my previous mail, sorry, my previous YouTube posting uh, are the right values and that's the values that my old sender is sensing.